Hi everyone, Anna with Anna's Wonderland here. I am here to show you some Happy Mail that I got yesterday. No, not yesterday, Friday. This is from France and I am so excited. Um, I uh, found this store that sells vintage wallpaper and textile and vintage letters and book pages and I am so, so excited to have received my package. I've already gone through it. I've already did scanning of mostly everything. I just need the uh, book pages. But I scanned the textile and um, wallpaper. So let me show you what I got. So here is some French textile. Look at how pretty and vintage antique whatever it is i still don't know what to call vintage and what to call antique but i'm assuming this is uh vintage because um on one of the wallpapers it said 1950 so it's probably vintage but look at this how pretty are these so exciting i'm um getting ready to make some journals and I'm definitely going to be, oh, I didn't even see this little one. I'm definitely going to be using some of these textiles in the journals. So pretty. Look at this one. At first I thought it was um, a little bit stained, but then I look closer. And then this is kind of like a gold, kind of like a greenish, olive greenish with a little bit of gold. It's so pretty. I just love, love, love. It almost looks like maybe they made a mistake and they um, the ink um, kind of just spread or it bled. But look at this uh, middle rose here. Pretty. And then here's another one of that uh, piece of that one. See at the edge here how it has like gold. You can see it shimmering right here. I love it. Here's another one here. And um, the shipping was kind of pricey. I paid about $110 for everything. Um, I told her just to give me tiny pieces um, if she could. This one seems a little bit older. As you can see, it, it has some like patina. I don't know if you can call it patina on fabric or is patina just on like hard surfaces, but um, it has like some staining. I love it. It doesn't smell bad. It's, it just smells like old fabric. Look at this one here. I love this. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to make like some little tags or something. To add little um, pieces of this remnant. Look at this one. This is that same one, just a bigger piece. And I love how it just, the muted colors just looks so shabby and romantic. Shabby doesn't necessarily mean pink and white. Look at this one. Pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the wallpaper. I love mm, the smell of it. It smells like um, like my grandmother's house in Mexico. Like concrete, like when it rains and the concrete gets wet. It kind of smells like that. Oh, it smells so good. So this was my favorite one here, and it was just a little piece. So... Um, this one might have been just like, um, oh yeah, I guess they're all like little leftovers, but oh my goodness, look at this. And I just wanna, sh I'm gonna show you at the end of this video, I've already made some digitals with this, using this one here and another wallpaper. I'll show you in a minute. But look at how pretty, look at these pinks. Oh my gosh, I am in love. Even my husband was like, oh, those are so pretty. Okay, and here is, some of the blue here is a green uh, kind of like a grayish beige I haven't scanned this one or the green ones yet I was in a hurry so I just scanned a couple that I really wanted to work with like ASAP 
This green one is so pretty. Look at this hot pink one. Oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. Adorbs. And then there's a blue one, exactly like that other pink one. This one, oh my gosh. Look at this. And I love how it has the little holes right there. Like the metal. So I, I think these were on a wall or this is how they were on the book. Like the samplers. I think, no actually, yeah, I think this belongs um, in those big books. Look at how pretty, and it's like uh, metallic on the gray area and this pink I mean this blue one with a little bit of pink these look like my mom's paintings I'm gonna, I'm gonna sh when she comes she went to go visit her sisters when she comes home <laughs> I'm gonna tell her to paint me some of these flowers look at this here how pretty my mom paints and she's so excited because she sold some of her paints and I'm so excited for her because she was so happy. She's retired already so and she does suffer from migraines like big time. So it's hard for her to kind of focus sometimes on painting. She gets nauseous right away. She's diabetic. Okay, really quick. Quick, well, actually, okay, I'll show you towards the end. I'll show you in the picture towards the end one of her paintings because I have one here um, nearby. Okay, and look at this. I got some vintage, um, uh, what do you call this? Vintage paper, but, um, geez, letterhead, vintage letterhead. There you go. Look at how pretty. Adorbs. This one is from 19, I think 92. Is that a two? I think it's a two. I mean 1902. What am I talking about? Oh, she sent some little vintage um, pieces of wallpaper here. I didn't see these. Oh, look at this one, how pretty. Why am I always out of focus? Jeez. <laughs> and this one, this shiny one. Oh, I didn't even see these. Okay, thank you. Whoa, those are so cool. And then this book page. I don't know what year this is, but it is an original book. Or is it a journal? Because the writing looks like they wrote with the ink and not not like a print it like you would a book but like actual yeah it's actual writing because like it, it they even smudged ink here and then right here the d kind of bled right there wow i gotta ask her merci merci beaucoup and then right here oh my gosh j'adore j'adore so cute this is this was a journal a journaling page I think she said Capulet Capulet somebody was writing something um like poems or something serenade Oh look at how pretty I don't know what year these are from it looks like maybe the 50s because of the coloring or I don't know because the writing is, I mean, unless that's how they teach you how to write in France at school. But look at how pretty. J'adore. J'adore. Oui. Oui, oui. So pretty. Yay. Merci beaucoup. Okay, um, so these are adorable, yes. So let me show you the digitals that I made with the wallpaper and some other French papers that I've had from, um, that belonged to my husband's ancestry. I just took them off their files. This one had a name of one of his great grandparents, I don't, uh, Viola or something like that it was. So here it is. 
adorbs. And then, okay. and then we have this one. Oh gosh, I think my mom is home and the kids are going nuts. Sorry, my kids barged in. Okay, we have this one. Look at how pretty. And then we have this one. And then we have this one that has that other wallpaper that I showed you. And then we have this one. And this one is actually from Spain. So, you know, Spain and France are neighbors. So, and then the Spanish language is composed of Latin, French, and Arab. So, that's why a lot of the French words, a lot of the uh, Latin words sound Spanish because um, they're all mixed and composed to make the Spanish language. So anyways, yes, guys, look at how pretty. So you can get these in my Etsy. I will leave the link below so you guys can snatch them. They print so pretty. They print exactly how the wallpaper is. And they are just adorbs, adorbs. So thank you guys for watching. And then I'm gonna insert at the end of this video, one of my mom's paintings so you guys can check her out. And if you guys are interested in a painting, let me know. So, um, cause she has several that she's already made. And um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time, bye.